Hey, it's Justin. I have this quick tip. If you're a CNC router user, often a time when you want to make a clean cut at the end of your material so that you have nice clean drop material and you don't have this jagged edge. So one way to do that I found is to make your own sketch around everything. You could have this nice line, but in this case, I'm cutting some parts for these bed slats and I have two of them and I don't want to go back and change my drawing. So instead, one of the new geometry feature selections, you can do that pretty easily. So I've got my inside cutout here, and then I have a pattern. If you haven't used patterns before, you should definitely use some patterns. So we're just patterning this first set in Y to 38.75 inches. Then all of that gets cut again. So those are both inside the pattern. I duplicated another 2D contour, changed the selection. I do have a video on geometry feature selections, I'll link here. So what we want to do here is select just this segment this para or perpendicular segment in X. And I'm holding Option on my Mac. It should be the same on Windows. And you're gonna get an open chain selection here. But we want it to cut all the way across the sheet in X. Hover over this, hit the little gear and click Edit. You're gonna to wanna to choose closest boundary as the extension method and to boundary as the extension type. And you can guess what's gonna happen here. And you can see the little dotted lines that give you the preview. We are extended all the way out to the sheet edge. So if I push OK, my stock here, which is a 48 by 96 sheet, and command select that, you can see now my cutoff would cut all the way across. And you can do this with any any type of extension you want. Obviously, you can do this if it's a repetitive job with just a sketch. But since we do a lot of job shop work, I find this to be super useful because I don't want to have to create a sketch. I've already got the sheet set up. I don't want to go back into design. So in this case, I'm actually patterning it up here so I actually need to do another little trick here, which is under passes, do a stock to leave, zero for axial, but in radial, I want it to be like 39 inches, like quite a ways out here. And we're doing that same cutoff boundary to boundary, or we're outside where my other cut is so that we don't run into those parts. So if I simulate first section, then we're gonna pattern into the second section. We're gonna enter, bring our tool down here and it's gonna cut all the way across. And obviously make sure you're cutting on the right side of the line. And we could probably tighten that up a little closer, but now we've got a perfectly trimmed off piece of drop that we can go throw away without having to get out a circular saw. You could do the same with these lines over here. If you selected one of these edges and did two boundary, it would do a full length. And then we get kind of a weird crisscross at the end there. So let's go over quick and show you how this actually got run. We're gonna speed through the operations and show you how that drop cutoff works. It makes this a nice clean line and you can see how much quicker this can be to clean up instead of these parts being attached in a big long L. We've got two simple parts that are squared off and easy to reuse later. I just thought this was a nice little trick and I've been using it quite a bit so I thought I'd share.